Hey guys, today's video is all about top handle handbags. So I am really, really excited because we are on our last few weeks of quarantine. I think we just have a week and a half to go before uh, quarantine is lifted and we can go back to some sort of sense of normality. Even though I know that it's going to be a new normal and things won't exactly be the same way that they are now i do feel that um, i really really want to get back to work i really want to get back to my normal routine and things that i usually take for granted or i used to take for granted before this quarantine happened and yeah um, i'm just really really excited for that but anyways uh before that happens i do have a few more videos to put out and today's video is all about the top handle bags in my collection so usually on a regular workday, I will reach for a crossbody handbag, but on those days where I want to feel a little bit more put together and a little bit more ladylike, I will reach for a top handle handbag. So in today's video, I'm sharing with you some of the top handle handbags in my collection and I have tried to get a range of bags from different luxury houses. So let's begin today's video with the first one, which is the Lady Dior. So this is my absolute favorite handbag actually, and I love this bag to pieces. I just feel that it is such a classic and it just looks so, so beautiful. Every time I use this handbag, I feel really, really elegant. And I just love the feel of the lambskin leather and I really, really like the way that the gold Dior charms just match so perfectly with this handbag. I really think that it is the epitome of carrying a beautiful top handle handbag. It does also come with a crossbody strap which is adjustable. I do have like a relatively new version. I think I got this in 2019. Um, I think everything after 2017 does have an adjustable strap. So anyways, the strap does function in order to make it a little bit more of a casual handbag so you can wear it as a crossbody. But I find that most of the time I do not wear the handbag that way and I just really prefer to wear it in the crook of my arm or just hold it by the top handles. So there are a few things that I must say though about this handbag, even though I would give it a 10 over 10 in terms of the way it looks, I think I would give it a 5 over 10 in terms of functionality. So the first thing that I really do not like about this handbag and the way that it functions is the small opening. And I thought at first that this opening would be okay since I do have a relatively small hand in order to get stuff. But I find that every time I open and close this handbag, I tend to get my um, my ring caught right in the zipper area and it's, it just hurts sometimes, especially if you're not careful because the opening is just really, really small. It's also very difficult to see the contents on the inside of your handbag. The second thing that I would say that always bothers me is actually the handles. So you can see right now that the handles um, are in the letter CD for Christian Dior. But the problem with these handles is that they don't move further than this. And they are really quite stiff. So they only just stay in this sort of position. And it is okay if you're carrying it as a top handle bag and holding it like this. But if you are using it as a crossbody and the handles like flip like that, it does tend to hurt you and then you always have to keep putting it up. I just find it a bit of a hassle. Even when you are sitting down beside your handbag and you have your handbag placed beside you, the, the, the handles do tend to flop like this. And yeah, you will be spending a lot of time adjusting the handles. So I would say that those are the two biggest things that I really do not like about this handbag. But in terms of everything else, I really, really love everything about this handbag. I love the canage pattern. I love that it has four feet at the bottom. The gold hardware is absolutely beautiful. And even the zipper, the zipper pull just looks like jewelry and it is just such a beautiful piece. I think that this bag is very exquisite and it is my favorite top handle handbag. Bag number two is a bag from Prada and I think you can get this 
sort of dome shape handbag in a lot of different brands it doesn't only come in Prada if you are somebody who likes Louis Vuitton it, uh, they do have like the Alma which looks very very similar in shape to this Prada dome but I really really love using this handbag as a top handle as well because it just looks very elegant especially when I am going to business meetings so this is a handbag that I use mainly for work and that's because it has the perfect length drop handle so I can really just sort of carry it in the crook of my arm at the same time it is very very spacious so let me just open up the zipper area and show you guys the inside so on the inside you can see that because it does have a wide base it can really fit in all of your documents I put my regular size iPad in here as well and if I do need to carry around my camera or other things everything that I need would fit on the inside of this handbag the other thing that I really appreciate about this handbag is that the zipper does zip all the way down here to the bottom part and it has two zippers so that really just allows you to maximize the space on the inside of your handbag and then of course to the bottom part it does have feet um, I would say that I'm not too crazy about the fact that this is in a very light color and you can see that it's already starting to fade in color but this is a relatively old handbag because this was one of my first designer handbags and it was a gift to me from my then boyfriend now husband so this bag really does have a lot of sentimental value for me and yeah I, I think it is a very beautiful top handle bag okay bag number three is something from Louis Vuitton and this is a very classic handbag it is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 30 so I really really love the way that this handbag looks and in terms of uh, price point it is a really really good price point I think this is actually the cheapest of all of the handbags that I will be showing in today's video and you can get really good deals on a second-hand one this one I actually got pre-loved in Japan and I think that it is in really really great condition I really love the fact that the canvas is just so hard wearing and even though I'm not too crazy about Vaqueda leather because it can get water stains I just have to remember remind myself to be very careful when I am using the handbag the only thing that I would say that I don't like about this handbag is the zipper pull so the new speedies actually have um, they're, they're done not in leather but they're all done in like a metal zipper pull but the older speedies do still have the leather tab and this does tend to wear after a while you can see that there is a lot of pressure in terms of the leather and that's what tends to happen after a while so that's the only drawback of this handbag um, the other thing is that there do it doesn't come with a strap so if you do want the one with the strap you'd go for the speedy bandolier which is a little bit more expensive or what I found that could work as well if you just took any strap um, for instance I have with me my Dior strap you can just hook it to the side right there and then just hook the other side with another strap like that and then you have a makeshift sort of bandolier so that's the nice thing also about the having the hardware although it doesn't look so great but if you really did want just to have that crossbody function you could put on a strap on this handbag moving on to Gucci I have with me something from the Marmont line and it is the Gucci top handle Marmont so I really really like the way that this handbag looks because of this back portion which has the heart and I think that is super super cute. I also love the hardware here. It's not really a very bright gold. It's more like their brush gold hardware and then it comes with a strap that is detachable. So this strap is really cute. It just attaches on like that and it's not too long. 
So if you are somebody who just wants to carry the bag like this with uh, one hand just carrying it very quickly, this will not drag on the floor. So that's something that I really, really appreciate about this handbag. I also think that the size is really good. This one is the small size. So this one can only be worn as a shoulder or as a short crossbody handbag, or you can hold it like this. You can actually put it into the crook of your arm if you're skinny like me but see even i struggle a little bit holding it this way so it is an option but at the same time i feel that the handle drop isn't quite long enough for this bag to be held that way uh, another thing that i really appreciate about this handbag is that there's just so much space on the inside and this is a little bit flexible so you can open it up quite wide on the inside it is lined in microfiber lining it has like the zip pockets and then it has some slip pockets as well and then if you get the bag dirty what i really like about this is that you can pull out the lining just a little bit enough that you can wash it and since the lining is a little bit light you will get it dirty very quickly so i like the fact that you can pull this out and then just sort of spot wash it and then put it back in once the ha once it's dry and another thing that I really love about this handbag is that it can transition from work week to weekend. It doesn't really have that uh, very structured look that you can't use it as a weekend bag, but it doesn't look uh, too casual that you can't use it for work as well. So this is one of those handbags that I feel is work appropriate and then at the same time I can use it for a less dressy occasion as well. Okay, so far we have gone through Dior, Gucci, Prada, and Louis Vuitton. The next handbag is from another luxury brand name which is very very popular and it is Chanel. So what I have is the Chanel Coco Handle and I know I do have a video on this uh, stating the reasons why I do not like the Chanel Coco Handle. There are actually a lot of personal reasons why I did not really like this handbag and I will try to link the video up here. But if we are just to talk in terms of pricing. So this is the situation. Let's just say that you really, really want a bag from Chanel and you have about $4,000 to spend. There's not a lot of bags that you can choose from Chanel since it is quite an expensive uh, brand name and yeah, their bags do start at a very high price point. But if you are looking for something that is in that price range and good value for money, then I would choose this handbag. I would say that this is good value for money in the fact that it is in caviar leather. It can contain quite a bit of stuff. It does have the Chanel logo and then it has like the typical Chanel elements that you would like. But at the same time, I do not find that this is a very functional bag. And I guess it can be just, the, the reasons can just be more of personal reasons because I know that a lot of people do find that this handbag is a really, really great handbag. So I would suggest to really just go ahead, go try it out in the store, really before making your decision on this handbag. So in terms of it being a top handle bag, um, the only other top handle that I can think of from Chanel that I really, really like is the Trendy. And that is so much more expensive than this. I think it's almost double the price of this one. So if I really um, was just thinking about price point and just matching the, the prices of handbags, I would definitely choose this one if I were going for a top handle from Chanel. So let me show you guys a quick comparison with the Gucci and I wanted to show these two side by side because they are very similar in terms of their shape and um, yeah I think that these both are very beautiful bags but this one of course is like one third the price of this Chanel handbag and the other thing about this handbag is that in terms of the space you can see that the two are very similar in size but i find that i can put a lot more in the gucci 
and that might be because of the way it's structured at the side so the Gucci does have a slightly larger base but I think it's also because when you open up the Gucci the top right here it's just easier to put stuff on the inside as compared to the Chanel handbag and yeah the, the Chanel one is just a little bit more difficult to get into even though it does have like all of the pockets that you might like if you want to be very organized um, but yeah I just find myself having a very difficult time putting stuff on the inside of this Chanel handbag the one thing though that I do appreciate about the Chanel Coco handle is that it does have feet at the bottom. The Gucci one actually doesn't have feet, it's just smooth leather all the way through. So uh, yeah, I do appreciate that the Chanel has that in order to protect the bottom of the handbag. And of course, I think that the Chanel looks really really good as well. It does have like um, a bigger handle drop, a slightly bigger handle drop, enough that you can put it into the crook of your arm. In terms of the length of the straps, they're both kind of the same length. Uh, the Chanel being very, very slightly shorter than the Gucci one. So if you are interested in having a top handle bag from Chanel, I would definitely suggest this one but um, again, I would try to check it out first in the store and just really see if you like the handbag and if it is something that suits your lifestyle. The last two top handle handbags I don't have in my collection and they are both Hermes. It is the Kelly and the Birkin. So I was able to try out the Kelly and I thought that I would really really like the Kelly because of the crossbody strap and um, it just makes it very very versatile and then I really like the way that the Kelly looked. It looked very good as a corporate handbag. But in the weekend that I was able to try it, I found it actually very cumbersome to use. And that's because the two flaps just, um, is just very, very difficult. Of course, at the same time, I was also trying to be very, very careful with that handbag, just in case anything happened to it. But yeah, I, I just did not like the way that the Kelly worked in terms of like having to open it up and then being very, very careful at the side, just opening it so that you could put things in and out. So for that reason, I would probably say that I prefer the Birkin and even though it does have like the two straps in the front which protect it, uh, I just feel that because the flap you can move it to the back side of the handbag, um, it's just easier to use and only if you really want to put your handbag away for long periods of time or you won't be reaching into your handbag a whole lot, then you could really just close it to be very very secure. So because of that, I think I would prefer the Birkin over the Kelly, but I think that both of these handbags, if I were to get any one of them, I'd be so, so happy anyways. And I think in terms of top handle bags, these two are probably the most famous and the ultimate top handle bags to have in any collection. That is about it for my collection of top handle handbags. I hope you guys did enjoy this week's video. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite top handle handbag or which one you think that maybe I should add to my collection. Please do give this a thumbs up and if you aren't already, please consider subscribing as well to my channel. I hope that you guys are all doing great or as great as you can be in this quarantine situation and I hope that in my next video things will be a little bit more back to normal. So until next time, please do take care and I will see all of you in the next video. Bye bye!